this whole story continues to get more and more insane every single day as the backlash gets worse, as Bud Light continues to panic, as they continue to try to play damage control over this entire situation. But it is at a point where they cannot stop the damage that is being done. They cannot stop the fact that they're losing billions of dollars. Billions of dollars, okay? This is one of the most astronomical boycotts that we have ever seen. This is insane. But today, we have some, nor some more news that we need to talk about today. because, And we have a lot that we need to get to. So let's just get it started with this thing here where Ron DeSantis absolutely just destroys Bud Light in the most epic way imaginable in this video. So let's go ahead and check this out. Bud Light's getting why, hit, why, hit as hard as I've ever seen it. Why do you want to drink Bud Light? I mean, like, honestly. And that is a very good question. And this is a, this was literally the first thing that I thought of when this whole controversy started to take place. I was like, why on earth would you want to drink Bud Light anyway? Like, there's so much better beer out there. Bud Light is like bottom of the barrel beer, okay? Like, and I, I get that it's cheap and stuff. So there's probably that sort of appeal, but. That's like them rubbing our faces in it and it's like these companies that do this if they never have any response they're just going to keep doing it so if you as a consumer are like yeah they're basically and, and, and i mean it's such a fraud with, with what they're doing with that like yeah they're doing that but i'm just going to keep drinking it anyways well then they're just going to keep doing it so i and he, he is totally correct about this this is why you know the woke ideology the woke agenda has been able to pervade for so long in our country is because they really haven't had much pushback and the the thing is that it's up to we the people again okay this is yet another situation where it's up to we the people to actually create the change that we want to see because all of the establishments all of the companies are going woke okay or at least the major companies are i should say all of the established com companies the system it's all going woke and it's going to continue to push this type of stuff that Bud Light is pushing here, and it's up to us to actually create the change that we want to see. I think we have power as consumers to make our voice heard, and not on every company, because sometimes conservative uh, consumers aren't going to make a dent in some companies. This one is one, if you don't have conservative beer drinkers, you're going to feel that. And yeah. so, you know, I think it's a right chance. Shout out to all of my conservative beer drinking compatriots out there <laughs> it's, um, i think it's a righteous thing you know some of these controversies they come up and people can kind of just say oh well it's kind of a one-off yeah it was stupid to do but it's part of a larger thing where corporate america uh is trying to change our country yeah. trying to change policy trying to change culture and you know i'd rather be governed by we the people than than will companies and so i Yep, 110%. Anyway, so it continues on. It's absolutely fantastic. And I highly recommend if you guys want to, you can go check out the, the full conversation. Uh, this was Benny Johnson who did this. Benny Johnson, he's doing great work in the culture. And, uh, you know, he's he's someone that I had uh, the pleasure of meeting recently. And he was absolutely awesome. So anyway, so DeSantis says Anheuser-Busch is too woke, has lost him as a customer. And this is something that a lot of us are feeling right now, as you can see by the numbers. So 54%. Support Bud Light boycott. This is insanely bad news for Bud Light, okay? According to Rasmussen, 54% of American adults support the boycott of Anheuser-Busch after the uproar or over the company using Dylan Mulvaney to promote Bud Light. Only 30% of Americans oppose the boycott. With all of that being said, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.